so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you ready to draw a witch's hat? Whoa, witch's hats are so cool and spooky. All right, I'm gonna start with the color black. And what I'm gonna do is draw an upside down ice cream cone. Do you like ice cream? Okay, let's make a point right up here. Whoa, and then go down here. Whoa, they're so pointy. And then let's connect these, but let's do a little arch right there. Whoa, and now let's draw an oval. But what we're gonna do is not connect it in the middle. Yeah, let's go like this. Whee! Whoa, very big. Yeah, that definitely looks like a witch's hat. Okay, and now right here, let's draw this. Yeah, a rectangle, a rectangle. Ooh, and let's connect them like this. And then two lines. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, do you know what that is? That's a buckle. Yeah, it's a design. Interesting. Wow, that was so much fun drawing a witch's hat with you. If you want to keep drawing with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi. Hello, it's me, Blippi. And look at where we are. Today, we're at the Leavenworth Reindeer Farm. And you and I are gonna learn about, yeah, reindeer. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, look at what I have. <laughs> this is reindeer food. Whoa. And we are about to feed the reindeer. Whoa. Have fun, Blippi. Thank you. Oh, hey, check it out. Here's a couple reindeer right here. Hello, you two. How are you two doing? <laughs> All right, here, let's go in here. Okay. Wow, the reindeer are getting up. <laughs> this one must be hungry. Hey, here you go. Wow. Oh, maybe it's not that hungry. <laughs> That's okay. We'll keep hanging out in here. Whoa, look at who it is. Yeah, we met this one a long time ago. This is Sven. Yeah, hey, do you see how he only has one antler? Here you go. Yeah, reindeer actually lose their antlers every single year. Oh. Yeah, the males and the females lose their antler. But say, for example, a white-tailed deer, only the males do. Whoa, that is a big antler, Sven. Here you go, you want some more? Whoa, there you go, okay. How about I go share some of this with your friends, huh? Okay, let's go back here. All right, reindeer. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Here's a turkey over here. Hey turkey, how are you? It's me, Blippi. Whoa, that turkey is so cute. Okay, all right. There's a lot of reindeer up here. Whoa, Sven must be really hungry. Oh, hey, are you hungry too? There you go. You can have some. Oh, you want some of Sven's? Here you go. <laughs> yeah, this time of year, I'm feeding them some reindeer food. And also in the morning times, they love lichen. Yeah, it's what's on all the trees around here. It's kind of like moss. Pretty cool, huh? Whoa. Yeah, and last time we were here, we fed them willow. Yeah, but there's no willow this time of year. So that's why they love reindeer food. <laughs> okay, how about we go share with your friends? Come on. Oh, hey, you haven't had any yet. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I love your antlers. Whoa. Do you see how I'm really comfortable with reindeer? Yeah. One reason is because they don't bite you. They are really nice. <laughs> 
Whoa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you see that one? It just shook! Oh, here you go! Hey, you want some? Are you hungry? Yeah? No? Okay, but this one sure is! <laughs> wow! You two are so cute! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! is Freya. She is really hungry. Hey, and I got permission to pet Freya back here. Oh, wow. She is so soft. Whoa, here you go. Whoa, Whoa check it out. It says eggs. Whoa, there's a lot of chickens and birds and turkeys around here. Let's go inside. Yeah! We are now in the chicken coop! Hello, chickens! Hey! Whoa! They have some really good balance! <laughs> oh, check this out! Wow! Look at that chicken! Oh, are you laying eggs? Whoa! And check out down here! Wow! Yeah, there's a lot of eggs right there. Let's count them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five eggs. Oh, hey, look at what it is. Yeah, this is a turkey. Whoa, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Turkeys are so cool. Look at all the big feathers on its back. Ooh, and then the feathers are sticking up on top. Hey, turkey. I'm not going to pet the turkey because this turkey does not like to get pet. All right, see you later. Have a good day. Really impressive! Thanks, Flippy. Yeah, hey, I heard that you know a lot about reindeer. Is that true? I do. You huh. wanna see some cool facts? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> I am so excited to hear some facts about reindeer. So check this out. Big Sven that you saw out there earlier. This is the second antler he ever grew as a one-year-old. Wow, that is a massive antler. Whoa! You think this one's big. You should see that one. That's the third one he ever grew as a two-year-old. Whoa! This antler is massive! Whoa! And it is really heavy. So you said that Sven grew this as a two-year-old and he grew that one as a one-year-old? Yes, he did. Antlers grow back each year on a reindeer between four and a half months time. Almost up to an inch a day, actually. It's the fastest growing organism on an animal. Wow, that is so cool. So reindeers grow this from their head in only a matter of months. That is so cool. Do you know any other cool reindeer facts? Yeah, you should see their feet. They have big hoof and it makes up three different tools for them. A snowshoe, a snow shovel to help them dig for food in the winter, and a paddle because they're excellent swimmers. They can swim up to 6.2 miles an hour. Wow, that is really fast. I wish my feet were that useful. That is so cool. Well, hey, thank you so much for teaching us facts about reindeer. And thanks for having us at your reindeer farm. Sure. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is Gandalf. Whoa, he is so big. Whoa. Gandalf is a Percheron draft horse. And actually, this type of horse 
Yeah, every single one of them is born the color black. But as they get older, they might stay black, or they might go gray, or they might go like what Gandalf is, the color white. <laughs> hey, Gandalf. <laughs> Who it is? This is Sven. Hey Sven, how are you? Yeah. Wow. Sven is a Belgian draft horse and he is so big. Whoa. Hey. And look at what he has on him. This is called a collar right here. Yeah. It goes around Sven's neck. Whoa. And actually, they make the collars just like how they used to. The same way. Yeah. It's actually filled with a bunch of hay really compacted in there. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, hey, check these out. These are lines. Yeah, and they go all the way back to the Visa V carriage. Check it out. Yeah, the Visa V carriage. I actually heard downtown Leavenworth has some beautiful lights. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that flying over the sky? Hmm, is that? No, it can't be. Is that Santa Claus? <laughs> wow, there are so many reindeer. This is awesome! <laughs> Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, riding through the sky. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh. Present safe in one big Christmas sack. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, riding through the sky. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, watch him passing by. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, delivering the toys. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, now then make some noise. To help him pull the sleigh, he has his friendly, trusty reindeer. They help him to go fast and break, make turns, reverse and steer. So make sure when you leave some milk, you leave a carrot too. These magic reindeer need a snack that they can also chew. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Fix, and Comet are their names. Then Cupid, Donner, Blitz, and Rudolph playing reindeer games. With your gifts on board, they travel guided by a light. If you hear a ho, 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 you're catching them in flight. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, riding through the sky. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, watch him passing by. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, delivering the toys. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, now then make some noise. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, riding through the sky. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, watch him passing by. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, delivering the toys. Santa sleigh, Santa sleigh, now then make some noise. That was so much fun at the Leavenworth Reindeer Farm. Oh, I love reindeer. I love horses. I love chickens and I love all the things we learned about today here. Did you have fun? Yeah, me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy! Good job! Alright, bye bye So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Flippy! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy! And today, we get to go on this really big boat! Whoa, it's enormous! <laughs> yeah! 
I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> hey, we made it onto the boat. <laughs> yeah. And this boat is awesome because it's not a regular boat. This is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this over here. Yeah, this is a really giant net. Whoa! <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> so silly. This brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color, orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vents. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa. <laughs> One hat and two hats. Whoa. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Look, it's my friend Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. OK, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward. And that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. And this is a steering wheel. Very important part of the boat. And it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> but look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa, <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west and which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey! I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, and she's a real life marine biologist. Ooh. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. <laughs> Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa! 
That sounds really, really important. Whew. Hey, while well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals, maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. Huh. What's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa, can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa, look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa, hey, let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa, that's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look, it looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving and our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them, but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa, so if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa, <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa, look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, whoa, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of his little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve. <laughs> Just like the clam. Whoa, is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have oh. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's, he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusks are snails, but they will also make their own home. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> he's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, whoa, and it looks like he has a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Whoa. <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa! Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa! It's so big, just like the small mollusk, and it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum, and it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa! 
operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah! <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It mm. is dirty. Oh. I just found this one. This one is fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. <gasps> and they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Ooh. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins. But we're going to make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat, because we always want to be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian! Hey, Blippi! Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to see some real dolphins! <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we'll just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> So Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? like they're friends. Hello, dolphins. Whoa, this is so cool. Whoa, look, they're so close. Hello, they're swimming under the boat. Look at what we found. Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island, is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because 
It keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah, and they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup, but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah, and they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo. <laughs> Well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, did you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah. He's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> But after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa. And come here. There's even cool, more cool birds. Yeah. See this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say. Anhinga. Whoa, look, a pelican. Hello, Mr. Pelican. <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Anhinga. <laughs> This is pretty cool. I'm going to keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, hey, hey! I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah! We saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah! And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa! It was so much fun! <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing! <laughs> they were so cool! Whoa, look at this! It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, Whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. We'll start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Look at it go! It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we want to make it look like the actual ocean, so we're going to put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, <laughs> that's just the right amount. And now, we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. Woo, we did it! <laughs> Look, 
all the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh. <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have, whoa, an octopus. Hmm. <laughs> They're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs in. Mm, yeah. Let's put in a, a sea turtle. Oh. <laughs> okay. So let's grab our animals. And we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa, look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye. <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water. The only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think it needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa. We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We want to keep it nice and clean. So we're gonna take some of this plumber's tape. And I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then you can ask a grown-up to use scissors to make a little cut. And now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water, get out. We don't wanna mess. Okay. <laughs> then, press the tape. You have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa! Look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay at the bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. We visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo! It's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at the Southern California Railway Museum in Paris, California. <laughs> and we get to learn all about the world of trains, 
locomotives, streetcars, and trolleys. <laughs> yeah! Choo choo! And look at what it is! It's a streetcar! Oh, it's so cool! <laughs> Oh, hi, John. It's nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. <laughs> nice to meet you, Blippi. I'm so excited to ride the streetcar. Can I find a seat? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do I need a ticket, though? Well, yeah, you're going to need a ticket, Blippi, but I've got one right here for you. Ah, uh, thanks so much. Oh, and John gave me a ticket. It's the color orange. <laughs> Come on, let's find a seat. Whoa. And look, these seats can go both ways. I can sit this way, <laughs> or I can sit whoa, the other way. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> mm, I think I'll sit facing this way. <laughs> whoa, I think we're all ready to ride the streetcar. <laughs> we can go. a really loud bell from this big steam train. <laughs> well, I am so excited because we're here with John, the motorman. And he knows all about trains and steam trains and trolleys and streetcars. <laughs> oh, John, where are we? We're in Car House 4 at the Southern California Railway Museum. Whoa, Car House 4. Yeah, that's where they keep all those trains and locomotives. And we get to look at them all. Let's go explore. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at how big this place is. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many train cars here and they're all different colors. Blue <laughs> and red, the color yellow, Oh, and I bet you know the color of this train car. It's the color green. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what it says on this train? Yeah, United States Mail. Hmm. Hey, John, did this train deliver mail? Oh yeah, before there was airplanes, there was mail trains. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. did you hear that? Yeah, a long time ago, they used to use train cars like this green train to deliver the mail. <laughs> That's so cool. But I bet we can find some other trains that are really cool too. Come on. They're so big. <laughs> I feel really small, like a tiny blippy. Because these trains, they're giant. <laughs> Whoa. And they have really big wheels. Whoa. Look at how big the wheels are. They're almost as big as me. Woo! <laughs> and these trains have a really big shocks. Yeah, those are the springs right here. <laughs> Just like on a monster truck. <laughs> they are so cool. <laughs> Whoa, let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Whoa, come on, look at this train right here. Hmm. Uh, John, this brown train car looks a little bit different. What's that big boxy thing on the top? Well, that's called a tower car. That's so that the electricians could safely work on the overhead wire without getting shocked. Whoa, tower car? <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, trains, they have a cable that gives electricity and helps the train run. And this train right here, <laughs> yeah, this one, it is a really good train where people could work safely to repair it. <laughs> Whoa, it is so cool. It looks really old. Ooh, <laughs> so old. <laughs> oh, hm. let's keep exploring trains. Whoa, come over here. <laughs> Whoa, this train looks beautiful. Yeah, it has big white wheels and is a beautiful color red. Hmm. John, did anyone important ride in this train? 
Well, this train used to belong to the president of the Pacific Electric Railway. He took that on inspection tours. Whoa, the president of the train company? <laughs> I wanna ride in this one. <laughs> but it looks like we need to put our luggage in one of the freight trains. Whoa. <laughs> I have a lot of luggage. Ooh. We gotta put it on the train because there's a different train car for your luggage. Yeah, you don't bring it on the train that you sit on. You put it over here. Whoa. <laughs> this is a really tall train. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> and dusty. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this freight train car would carry all of your luggage. <laughs> it looks like we learned about all kinds of trolleys and trains. <laughs> I, I think we should probably head back though. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, I'm having so much fun learning all about trains and trolleys. <laughs> Thanks so much for helping us out today, John. Hey, it's my pleasure, Blippi. <laughs> and just as a little memento, I'm gonna give you one of my pins. Whoa, no way, a real life? Train pin. <laughs> Thank you so much, hey, John. My pleasure, Blippi. Bye bye. Nice meeting you. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I'm gonna pin it on my suspenders. No way! It's a real life locomotive, and it's so big. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I have an idea. Maybe this can be the locomotive that we drive. <laughs> oh, and look, there's a conductor. Hello. Hi, Blippi. Hey, can we drive the Santa Fe 108? Of course you can, come on aboard. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, go in through the nose. Oh, okay. Let's go in through the nose. <laughs> so silly. Come Over on. Here, Blippi. Oh, thanks. Welcome aboard. Whoa. We're going in the train. Through the nose. <laughs> Come on, see you inside. Whoa. Whoa. We're inside the locomotive. <laughs> it's so cool here. Oh, hello, what are your names? Hi, my name's Carson. And my name's Bryce. Oh, it's nice to meet you. And what do you do on the train? Uh, we are engineers. Oh, whoa, that is so cool. And the front of the locomotive is so cool. Uh, do you know the name of the room we're in? Yeah, this is the cab of the locomotive where all the controls are located. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of controls. <laughs> There's controls there and over here. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like a really big electrical panel. <laughs> Ooh, can I open this up? Sure you can. Oh, mm, what's inside here? Uh, more electrical switches, some of the main circuit breakers and the main circuit breaker for the locomotive. <laughs> There are all kinds of buttons and switches that control different parts of the train, right here. Yeah, there's a switch for the lights, a switch for the radio, <laughs> and even a switch for a fuel pump. Whoa, this looks really important. <laughs> oh, and hmm, we'll close this. And uh, what's behind this door? That's the engine bay. Oh, can we go and see the engine? Of course. <gasps> I'm so excited to go behind that door to see the engine, because trains go really fast. Maybe it's a really big engine. <laughs> Let's see. Come on in. Okay, come on. <laughs> Ooh, I'll see you in the engine room. <laughs> this down here is the 20 cylinder engine that provides 3,600 horsepower. Whoa, it's, it's so big. <laughs> this is the water that keeps it cool. Whoa, and what's this right here? This is the air compressor that generates air pressure for the brakes and the horn and the bell. Whoa, that is so cool. The engine in this engine room is so big, it takes up a room. <laughs> Whoa, and it has 20 cylinders. Yeah, did you hear that? Maybe a car will only have four cylinders and cars go pretty fast. So if a train has 20 cylinders, oh, that's super fast. <laughs> Whoa, this is also really cool. This air compressor, is there a brake back here as well? 
Yes, there's a handbrake back here that keeps us from moving when we don't have air pressure. Ooh, whoa, right here? Yes, whoa, look at this. This wheel is a brake. Hmm, and do I turn it to stop turn it the train? Way. Okay, whoa, <laughs> we're putting on the brake. Whoa, <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> whoa, trains are really cool and really fast. Hey, why don't we see how fast this train can go and drive it ourselves? <laughs> Think we should head back to the cab and take it for a ride. <laughs> Come on. Oh, look at this. It's the driver's seat in the cab. <laughs> There's so many different levers and gauges <laughs> to start the train. Whoa. So Carson, how do you start the train? Well, you start the train by turning on a lot of the circuit breakers in the circuit panel. Okay. And you actually have to go back into the engine bay. Oh, And there's okay. a toggle there that actually starts everything in there. Cool. Uh, we'll take care of that a little bit later. Okay. Whoa, and what is this right here? That right there is the throttle that makes the train go fast or slow. <laughs> Whoa, can I pull on it? Uh, not right now, it's not set up to go anywhere yet. Okay, cool. <laughs> but this is the throttle, hmm. Then I bet that means this is the brake. That's correct. <laughs> if you're going too fast in the train, you can just stop it with the brake. <laughs> Whoa, and if you need to make the train go backwards, is there a way to do that? There is. If you pull out that little knob right there, stick it in this slot here. Yeah, that's Whoa. the reverser. That's kind of like the key for the locomotive. Whoa, look, it's a reverser. Yeah, it's a key. And you just put the key right in this hole and then you can make the train go forward, whoa, <laughs> or backwards. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Whoa, and can I press this button or pull this? You can pull that one. Whoa, this right here says bell. <laughs> I wonder what happens when I pull it. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> that was so cool. That is. And what was the sound of the air? Well, that was the air that runs the bell. A lot of the locomotive is run on air power. That's why it has such a large compressor for running so much of the equipment. Whoa, this locomotive's amazing. It uses diesel fuel, electricity, and air power. Whoa, <laughs> and I bet I know what this is. I you do. Okay, hmm. What do you think will happen when I pull this lever? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's gonna be really loud. <laughs> you think I should pull it? Okay, let's pull the horn! <laughs> Whoa, that horn is so loud. Hmm. Well, why is there a bell and a horn? What is the horn used for? Well, the horn is used to communicate with other people, other trains, what that train you're on is going to be doing. Oh, so what does one horn mean? It means I'm stopped. <laughs> I'm stopped. Hmm. What about two? It means I'm gonna go forward. Okay. <laughs> Time to go forward. And what about three horns? I'm backing up. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Trains are pretty amazing. And horns are so useful to communicate with other people. <laughs> well, I think we're about ready to start the train. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to operate the locomotive. We've learned so many things about the engine and all the different switches. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun when we turn it on. Hmm. Uh, just one question. Uh, Carson? Yeah? How do we turn on the locomotive? Well, we start here with the main circuit breaker panel. Oh, main circuit's already on because we had the lights on back there. Otherwise, we switch everything on. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. There's two over here. If you want to take a seat, you can flip those two on. Okay, I'll sit in this chair that controls the train <laughs> and I'll head the one? engine run switch. Okay. Engine run. And the control and fuel pump. Control and fuel pump switch. There you go. And now I'm gonna head into the back and fire it up. Okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, I am so excited to ride and operate a locomotive. Hmm. Just one question though. Uh, 
I don't know what a locomotive is. <laughs> uh, Bryce, what's a locomotive? What's the machine that's at the very front of the train that pulls all the cars behind it? Oh! So, a locomotive has the engine. Yeah, trains, they don't have engine. Train cars, they're just cool. So if you have a lot of train cars and a locomotive, you have a train. But if there are no train cars, it's called a locomotive. <laughs> I think we're all ready to start a locomotive. <laughs> One more thing, Libby. Ooh. It gets very loud in here when we start up the engine. So you gotta put earplugs in. Okay, let's put in our earplugs. It's gonna be so loud. <laughs> Take that reverser key. Yep, go ahead and stick that in its slot again. First. Yep. All right. Go ahead. Actually, there's a few other steps for me. Okay. Sorry. A few other lights. Put it in run so it'll actually go somewhere. Those two switches you flipped earlier, that middle one, Gen Field, go ahead and flip that up. Okay. Now the locomotive will send power to the wheels. So now. Put the reverser to forward. Okay, here we go. Whoop. There you go. The uh, handle above the throttle, bump that forward once. Okay. There we go, that'll actually make us go instead of use the engine as the brakes. Okay. So turn on the bell. Pull on the whistle twice. <laughs> Pull the throttle one notch. And release the brakes. Whoa! I think we're gonna start moving! And away we go! Whoa! <laughs> Look at us go! We're operating a train in real life! Woo! <laughs> All right, blow the whistle in a pattern. Long, 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 short, long. This is so fun! <laughs> Pull the throttle back another notch or two. Okay. It looks like we're going faster. <laughs> hey, do you think I should pull the throttle another notch to go even faster? <laughs> okay, let's try it. for a while. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun operating a locomotive! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.
a Heart Public Transportation Bus. Yeah! Are you ready to learn about buses with me? Yeah! Let's go! Now, let's check out the inside of the bus. Come on. Whoa, here we go. Wow, look, this is where the bus driver sits. Whoa, I'll show you more of this area later. But first, let's go check out the back of the bus. Yeah. Wow, there's so many seats you can sit in. Like this one right here. <laughs> or this one. <laughs> or even this one. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! right out there. This is a second door. There's a back door and a front door. That's really cool. Oh, and look, these are handles for when all the seats are taken up. You, you gotta stand, but you have to hold on to something really tight. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Okay. One last thing before I show you the driver's seat. Come here. Okay. This. This lets the bus driver know that your stop is near. Listen. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna show you where the bus driver sits. Whoa. Bus driver Blippi! Bus driver Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! I'll get you a ticket right here. <laughs> Here's your ticket. Whoa! Heart. Okay, I'll swipe it for you. All right, you're ready to go. But first, Everyone, take your seat. Take your seat, everyone. <laughs> we are going to have some fun times on this bus ride. Whoa, this is so cool. Whoa, what's this do? Do you know what this does? <laughs> this is the horn of the bus. Let's do it again. I'm going to shut the door with this. Watch. Okay. Shutting the door. Shutting the door. <laughs> That's so great. Go on and take a seat, partner. Are 
at a maintenance shop of the buses. Oh, come here. Look at all these cool gadgets. Like this hose clamp. Oh, fun, that's cool. And then, whoa, a really big bolt. Wow. And a smaller bolt with a nut and some washers on it. <laughs> There's so many cool things right here. Let me show you some more great things at this maintenance shop. Whoa. all the maintenance records of all the buses. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do some maintenance on a bus. Let's go. is the back of the bus. This is where the engine is. Whoa, there's big belts and the engine. And look right here. This is where you check the oil. Yep, you knew that already. Let's check the oil. Pull out the dipstick, wipe it off. Put the dipstick back in. Check the level. Looks full to me. So, I think we are ready to take the bus for a spin. Let's go. Now, it's time for a bus ride. You want to go on a bus ride? Yeah, let's go. Look, here we go. Oh no! The door just shut! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! They're leaving without us! Wait! the bus okay that's one reason why you always need to be on time for the bus come on take a seat we made it Whew, that was a close one Look! This is so cool! There's a place in town where you need to go Back to your home or the store that's down the road Get on the bus and it will take you there Riding through the town, going everywhere Just one ticket is all you need but don't forget to let the driver see Take a bus to work, a bus to a friend You can even take it to another land so Let's all ride the bus 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 there's a yellow bus that goes to school There's a blue and a green and a red bus too Let's all ride the bus Let's
let's all ride the bus You can catch a bus where you see this sign It's a bus stop and there you wait for your ride But let the others get off before you take your seat And then you say to the driver One ticket please Listen to the driver call out each stop Press the bell when it's yours and it will drop you off Take a bus to work, a bus to a friend You can even take it to another land so let's all ride the bus 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 There's a yellow bus that goes to school There's a blue and a green and a red bus too Let's all ride the bus Let's all ride the bus And the let's all ride the bus And today we're at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, Washington. This is going to be so much fun. Come on. Whoa. Look at this place. This place is awesome. Ooh, now we're in the butterfly room. Have you ever seen a butterfly before? Yeah. I love butterflies. They're so beautiful and light. Will you act like a butterfly with me? Whoa, look at him go. Whoa. <laughs> There's one right there. Hey, butterfly. Whoa. Check it out! A butterfly just landed on me. So anytime they land on you, you don't want to touch them. And they're actually just being really nice. So you can be nice back to them. See? <laughs> I love butterflies because they're so bright and, and some are camouflaged though. Look, can you find one? Whoa, look! This butterfly uses camouflage for its defense mechanism. Just in case if there's any predators, then the predators can't see it. <laughs> see? <laughs> All right, now I'm with Lorraine, and what are you going to show us? So this here is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I can take it out for you. And what am I going to do with it? You can hold it if you'd like. Sure, let's try it. Out. I'm about to hold a Madagascar hissing cockroach. All right, hold your hand out really still. Ooh. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I like this cockroach. Hey, how are you? Hey. Do you see it? See, I'm being nice to it, and it's being nice to me. Hey. How are you? What did you do today? Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Ooh, now we get to touch some animals. But first, we need to wash our hands. So then our hands are nice and clean. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go, come on. 
Ooh! Look at this! Wow! <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Well, over there we have some anemones. They're really friendly and kind of squishy. You're doing a really good job petting it with one or two fingers on the side. We don't really want to poke it right in the middle, because that's its mouth. Oh, cool. Ooh, look at this one. So the last ones are really soft. I wonder what this is going to feel like. Whoa, it looks like it's closing itself up a little bit. Blippi, it, it might think you're food. Ooh, that's funny. Oh, look at this one. What's this? That over there is a sea star. How does it feel? Whoa. Kind of bumpy, maybe? Yeah, bumpy and, and, and kind of s small spikes. The last couple were really soft, but this one is hard. Those little dots are made out of the same stuff that seashells are made out of. Ooh. So even as, though a sea star doesn't have a, its own seashell, it's kind of like it has little bits of a seashell. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I found the queen. Wow, there's so many honeybees in here. Hey, don't be scared of honeybees. All they're trying to do is make some honey. Yeah. Have you ever had honey before? <laughs> yeah, it's so tasty. Mm. Look at what it is. This is the spot where you can do the bee dance. Are you ready to learn the bee dance? I'll teach you. Okay, in the middle here, you go and do a little wiggle. <laughs> then you go this way. Flap your wings. Yep, because we want to make some honey. In the middle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then go this way. Flap your wings. And then since you're back in the middle, you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And go this way. And then you keep doing it until you're really tired. All right, ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. Oh, now we're in the living things exhibit. Oh, look. Hey, look at what it is. It's a crayfish. Do you see it right there? Oh, here's one right here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, and up top there's some fish. Hey, fish. Are you just swimming around? Yeah, they are. <gasps> oh, look over here. Some giant grasshoppers. Ooh, grasshoppers can jump really high. I bet they live in the grass a lot of times. Eh, that's why they're called grasshoppers. A lot of times they live in the grass and they hop really high. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is. Another part of the Living Things exhibit. Whoa! Yeah, do you see these? Whoa, interesting. These are naked mole rats. Wow. They're like rats, but they have no fur or, or hair or scales or anything like that. That's why they're called Naked mole rats. <laughs> oh, 
and an axolotl. Check this out. Whoa. See that? That's an axolotl. Whoa, so interesting. Kind of looks like a salamander mixed with a fish. But the cool thing about axolotls are if they lose a limb like their arm, then from there, they can regrow it back. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Check out this little person or guy or girl or I don't even know, but this is a turtle. Wow. Hey, how are you, turtle? Are you having a good day? Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> you sure do look like you're having fun. <laughs> See you later. Whoa. It's kind of dark in here, but that's okay. This is a green iguana. Can you see it? Whoa. It's just relaxing. Having a good time. <laughs> All right. See you, Iguana. Right there is a dinosaur. They don't live on our planet anymore, but they used to. Look at it. It kind of looks like a velociraptor. Will you act like a velociraptor with me? Whoa, another dinosaur. Whoa, this dinosaur. That's its name right there. It's really big. Hey, look at its head. <laughs> hey, see, it kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet. Mm -hmm. Just like when you and I ride bicycles, we wear helmets. <laughs> cool. Oh, here's some more dinosaurs. Whoa, look at that one. That is a triceratops. Do you know why they call it a Triceratops? Yep, because it has three horns on its face and head. Let's count them. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, see you later, Triceratops. Whoa. Hey, another dinosaur. Wow. Hey, dinosaur. Oh, this dinosaur right here was a herbivore. <laughs> See, these plants, that means it eats plants. <laughs> and plants only, it doesn't eat meat. And look at what's on its head. <laughs> it kind of looks like a shark fin. <laughs> oh, so silly. <laughs> Whoa! Check this out! Whoa, this is a massive footprint. Okay, let's compare my foot to this dinosaur's foot. Ready? <laughs> its foot is way bigger than mine. It's even way bigger than two of my feet. Check it out. This is a Stegosaurus. Whoa, do you see those plates on its back? That's for its defense mechanism. Wow. Hey, Stegosaurus. <laughs> oh. So many cool dinosaurs in here. Whoa. This dinosaur is so scary. 
It's the king and queen of the dino land. Whoa. I'm going to act like this dinosaur, okay? Will you do the same? Ready? <laughs> I love acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> Now we're gonna do the high rise bike. Oh, all right. Come on, come here. You gotta buckle up. Whoa. I'll tell you a few quick things before you go. Okay. Uh, just make sure you're going at like a walking pace. You're always going forwards and just keep pedaling the whole time. Okay. Uh, Hands are optional. Whoa, hands are optional. Here I go. Whoa. You would think I would fall off because it's a really thin rail, but I didn't because the weight is really heavy and it's really far away from me. Here I go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Interesting. This looks like a giant circle. <laughs> And this is actually called the water wheel. It's kind of just like how a hamster runs in their wheel. I'm gonna do the same, but it's gonna grab water from the bottom and throw it up over the top. Ready? Here I go. What's this? Ooh, this is the water power station. Water is getting shot out on the front of this little water gun. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, watch. I'll make that spin. Yeah, we're doing it! Whoa! Okay. Whoa, what's that way up there? Do you see that? Yeah, that's the Seattle Space Needle. I think we should take the water power gun and try and shoot way up there. Here we go. It's such a nice day. I wanted to give them a cool break of water, but it's too high up there. Let's go see what else there is around here. Whoa! That's pretty fun! Whoa! Look at this area! You can use these water squirters to squirt inside this clear cube. <laughs> All right, let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. All right, I wonder if I put this right here. Yeah, see? The water is pushing this gear around. Okay, let's try this one. these are going in circle. The red one and the yellow one. Ooh, come on. 
I love playing with water. Whee! Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Okay, look in there. Let's go. Woo! Welcome! Good morning! Hey, look! It's a little tree house! Here I go! Hello! Whoa! Whoa, look at this! It's a bunch of spirals, ups, downs, lefts, and rights! Here we go! Whee! Whoa! Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Is this so much fun? Oh! The noise room! Come on! Whoa! This room is a room that you can make as much noise as you want! First thing I'm gonna do is yell. <laughs> now, let's use the things around us to make some noise. And if we're lucky, maybe it will sound like music. right up here. Whoa, this area has a lot of colorful bricks. Yeah, see? Right over here. All right. Timber! <laughs> Whoa, a taller one. Let's count how many there are. This is a lot of stories of bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen bricks coming down! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! Okay, let's uh, organize these bricks in their different colors, okay? Okay, since we made a mess, we need to take the green bricks, put them over here, okay? Okay, there's the green bricks. And let's now take the blue bricks and put them right there. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, hey, look. Here's some brown bricks. Let's put them right here. Hey, here's a red brick. Put it right there. Okay. Hey, here's some more blue bricks. Oh, look at 
look at this one. What color is that? Yeah, this is brown. Let's stack it right there. Hey, look at all these. What color is this? Do you know what color this is? Yeah, it's the color yellow. Let's put these right over here. Okay, so when those 18 bricks fell down, they were comprised of these one, two, three, four, five colors. And those colors are green, brown, blue, red, and yellow. Good job. Let's see what other fun things they have at the Pacific Science Center. Let's go. Do you like numbers? Yeah, I do too. What about big numbers? Yeah! Check this out. This is a big number. 76,383,232. Whoa, that's a big number. But when I push this red button, watch this number. Whoa, it just went up by one. See, it's at three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every time you push this button, it goes up by one. So if you ever come to the Pacific Science Center, you can see what number it's at, because I am going to leave it at 76,383,323. Wait, no. 324. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey! I'm just doing this puzzle of the moon. Okay, there's one. Let's see. Okay. Hey, there's another. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Perfect! We're almost done, look! Yeah! This is our moon. We live on planet Earth. And we have one moon. And we call it Moon. <laughs> wow, how clever of us. Hey, look at what it is. This is a planet. Just like how we live on planet Earth, this is a planet in our solar system. And this is Saturn. Ooh. And the biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. Whoa, it is really big. Look at that. Come here. This is a space capsule. Watch your step. See? This capsule is where astronauts can sit in and go into outer space so then they can feel the effects of gravity and they can push all these cool knobs. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Look! I just made all those things light up! Whoa! This is fun! Whoa! It's like I can see planet Earth all the way from out here. Whoa! Hey, Mom! <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> just kidding. It was just a mirror. Come over here. I'll show you some more fun that we can have with mirrors. Ooh, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> I call this the mirror dance. <laughs> I look silly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come 
on. <laughs> This is a bubble maker. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Nice and slow. And I'm gonna blow now. Yeah, I did it! Did you see that? That was awesome! I love making bubbles. Ooh, and you know what else I love? is taking a giant lever and seeing how distance way out here makes it really easy compared to to lift up this weight compared to pull down right here. See, watch. Huh, interesting. All right, now, Let's move it way out here. All right. Now I'll do it with one hand. Yeah, did you see it? Look, I'll lift it up. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. Oh, hey, a cool mirror. Another one. Hey, hello. This is interesting. See, I'm upside down. But in real life, I'm right side up. Hello. Hey, I see you. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. All right, let's continue on. This place is so cool. Hey, what's this? This is a beach ball. What's it doing here? Flying ball. Feel the power of air in motion. Huh, interesting. Let's push this. Whoa! I wonder what happens when I plug this hole that's shooting up all the air. Whoa, did you see that? All right. Now I wonder what happens when I move it. Whoa! Whoa, look, the ball's way over there. All right. Ready? Whoa! Yeah! I just hydrated my body with a lot of water because what I'm about to show you takes a lot of energy. I'll show you my Lance Armstrong hill climb. Woohoo! That was awesome! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. Special thanks to the Pacific Science Center for making this video happen. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi.